What is going on, everybody? Welcome back for the third episode of Stories, The Path of Destinies. We are getting ready to go in to fight the Emperor, or so it said. I guess we'll find out. Little blue teleportation device. Anything back here? Nope. So we'll teleport there. And Mara felt like he was ready to learn new things. Learn new things. He didn't have to go to school for that. Yeah, school sucks. All right. So we will. We'll go with the combat again. That all. That counter up. Chest. The portal was heavily guarded. Of course, it'd be heavily guarded. They really didn't want to go. Yeah. Go. Look at that leveled up. Let's turn back. Try to get back to this altar. That other skill point. Get that combat up. Nice. That could be useful. It could be useful. Probably will be. Ooh, look at that. That was a little weird. It just didn't render in. Energy, energy. We need health. Give me some health. Alright. Where we use this to go back up. Watch I'll bust this one open. It'll uh it'll have health in it. Hey. Nope. Energy. Hey, I'm a Firefox, thought Renato. Fire fox. Fire fox reference check. Uh, four wood. Right, go this way. Chest. Bum bum bum. What were these poles exactly? Parking meters from the time of the lost gods? Parking meters. Trying to fill up all this energy. We head into this battle. I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen. There. Was that the craziest weapon you ever used? Yeah. Yep, wrong sword. There. Yeah, I need some help here. Oh, so we we'll just knock down the banner. Just can't knock that one down. What happens? Nope. See, that's like there's rally in there. Oh. 
folks on fire. God, there. I have. You have died. You start from last checkpoint. Man, get out of there. Jeez. I gotta get that warlock. There's no way around that one. Where you at? There we go. Got that warlock out of the way. I'm 30 health though. Oh, what the, what the hell? Oh, oh, died again. <laughs> oh. I gotta do this. No. Nope. All right. I just have to avoid these. Surrender. As you should surrender. A trick? Maybe she really believed it. Maybe. He could hear horns blaring the retreat. Maybe it was true. Maybe they had one. If we would. Alright. Energy or health? Time this just right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Again. Right. Pick that health back up. Go back to the back to the fire sword. Right. Up to hundred. Platform with no rails on it again. Right. You. Here. Got three of you. More. Nope. All right. Renato had always wanted a flying carpet. This was more Ooh. like a flying tabletop. What did we do? <laughs> tabletop. Here we go. Is riding. It's oh, enemy shield grunts block your attacks. Grab and throw another grunt into them, and his shield will be knocked away. All right. Get him. So many. Come on. Just knock him off. That's it. Got all those. The heck? And there was Zenobia, wearing the white robes of surrender. She came and kneeled before him. 
Why didn't you listen to me? Why? I was trying to save you too. You're the enemy, he said. I was never your enemy, Renato. Then she spoke a terrible word and made a gesture with her hand. She stopped moving, covered in frost. What? And he wondered why she'd frozen herself. Then the Sky Ripper froze. And then, for a moment, he felt very cold and discovered that he couldn't move. Uh-oh. The next thing he knew, the sun was a giant, monstrously red. It took up half the sky, and he was in a parched red desert. And then, he was on fire. Uh-oh. Okay, that was weird. He could have sworn he just died. Instead, he was on the far fairer. Sailing away from Ubar, and it was still burning. He'd fled burning Ubar years ago, hadn't he? And now he was back there. Uh oh, had all those years fighting the Empire been nothing but a vision into the future? Uh -oh. A useful vision, vision, if it was true. He'd learned something. Zenobia still had feelings for him. Ah, oh. still had feelings. Your two skills unlocked. Desert Temple unlocked. Make the same mistake twice. Sure, we will. The book's pages began to flip backwards towards the beginning, and he realized that his adventure was just beginning. Oh, the clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time Boreas. to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens are scouting for the secret rebel base, they needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Wow. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone the better Iblis get it Stone. before he does, thought Renardo. On the other hand, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Lapino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Eh, hey, well, fair enough. I guess we just keep getting. Can't go after the Sky Ripper again, I don't think. We'll uh, go save our old Lepino. friend. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. <laughs> Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. Oh, he's out of time the now. The had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Guys always get themselves into trouble. So we go save Lapino. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. He <laughs> only sold it. Wait. Where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? Or... Wind essences, more ores. Make anything. Oh, got nothing here. Can't break that. 
Oh, look, another Roddy platform. There was an inscription. No spitting. No spitting. They're taking me. Yeah, like, screw it. We're just going to skip this level. And take you to the end. The Ravens had taken the town. Renato had seen villages empty like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. The village looked so peaceful. Were the villagers hiding somewhere? Did they of hide somewhere? Not. No matter how much he searched, he would only find ravens here. Since we died a bunch last time. What is that? Oh, continue increasing health. Rab damage. Drew sword foo. Back enemies in a distance. Dash through enemies. Hooking a shield wielding enemy will rip away the shield, leaving him vulnerable. Ah. I'll have to do that. Be my next one. I'll level up again. I'll open this up and see where this goes. This level just seems like it's eh, just go wherever you want. Chaos. There we go. Let's do this, this one. Oh god. Oh jeez. Come on. Already missed my, my weapon that was helping me out. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Nom nom nom. Snack. Ravens weren't picky. Go back. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. <laughs> Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? <laughs> they eat their spies. <laughs> oh, that's good. Let's go ahead and eat them before they interrogate. Interrogate. Oh, energy. We need health. that up because we seem to be getting more energy than and we do health. Watch, I'm going to bust these open to get health. Or I'm just going to get nothing. Chest. And some energy. Yeah, what do we got? Ores. Ores are good. I need more ores. I think I've he leveled up. That good. Yet. Oh, haven't leveled up yet. Yo, oh, enemies. That's what I got. Is there the shield guy? Oh god. Oh, these guys. Let's go. Let's go, got rid of that guy. Got hit though to do it. Oh yeah. So much about. Ooh, what was it again? Oh, can't go back to the altar. Yeah, stab that door. Oh, 
go. Here's an altar. Yep, you know, learn that one. I don't have a purple sword yet. Wind sword. Can't go that way. That's great. Get him. Get him. Some of this. Your ass off. Right. Anything. Anything. Just can't break the uh, tombstones. Nope, can't do anything to the pews either. Hey, boy. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. You do, Lapino. Rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Bernardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Favorite deck. I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. Good deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. <laughs> now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. Oh. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, Capture lemon squeezy. Emperor's greatest general, who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and oh, his only daughter. Uh, that would be worth it. Definitely worth it. It would be nice to see her. He'd always had a soft spot for her, and he felt sure she had one for him. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky River, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Mm. Yeah, we'll go. Zenobia was Zenobia, Zenobia this time. Daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in sword food school. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. The rabbit had a point. And Renato had a feeling she'd want to see him again. Who knows what could happen between the two of them this time around. She had all his plans. Chuckled the master spy. She won't give them up easily. No, she won't. She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Do this. Loady, loady. Boom. Boom. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Well, dark. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia and the mercy of interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? Pretty. This was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Oh, there we go. That's good. But I look, there's a chest over here. If he ever had a castle, he was going to hide his stuff better. Should hide his stuff better, that's a bit ridiculous. All these chests out in the open. Jump off of this? No. Hmm. Dead people. That's strange. Hero. Cool. Ice. Ice wall. Ice cube. Ice cube reference check. That's it. It's weak sauce. Alright. I figure out how to get away, get around these guys. On that one. On 
that one. I could probably. I don't have to kill these, but go ahead and do it anyway. Play it safe. Fighting groups. Oh, I know. Because there's no I in team. Oh, what a joke. No I in team. Somewhere he's teleporter. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said <laughs> Use him as Andy bait. Andy planned a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the fire fairy a little bit on fire. Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. What could go wrong with that? Right, let's go with the plan. Oh, this is gonna be fun, said Lapino, as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Oh, this should be amusing. Alright, uh, can I do anything with the swords? I still need two more. Oars. Alright. Maybe I can get two oars out of these. Oh, I've got health. Yeah, nope, don't have any skills for the altar. Oh, he's got that shield off that guy. Alright, we got a ball. Renato felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. Oh, this is all going to go horribly wrong. wrong. Lepino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese. The net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Ooh, Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. <laughs> it was my favorite. My you velvet jacket. In velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two. Yes. Said Lapino. Probably sensing the chemistry. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they took Zenobia east over the Nexus. Over the Nexus. She vanished from Swordful School. From his life. Without even saying goodbye. Without ever telling I him she was the that. Emperor's adoptive daughter. Renato was aware of her feelings. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe it was a bad idea. Just letting his own feelings get the better of him. Ooh. Choices, choices, choices. All right, that's going to be it for today. Come back and we'll figure out what we're going to do with Zenobia. Have a good day, folks. Doodles.